The gate is locked. I don't know. So to call, I call the governor. It's not picking. So you call the governor that I didn't move because I didn't get any letter to move. So that was the deputy governor of Edo State who was locked out of his office just a few months ago. And a lot has been happening in the politics of Edo State as the deputy governor just a few days ago went ahead to make his declaration known to the public stating that he was going to be running for the position of the governor of Edo State. By all indications, it's obvious that Gobino Baseke, who is the current governor of Edo State, is not throwing his weight behind him. But regardless, Philip Shaibu has remained resolute to say that I'm going to be winning the elections. I'd like you to see a video he just did not long ago where he has said that the current governor of Edo State and the leadership of Edo State is doing all they can to frustrate his efforts of becoming the next governor of Edo State, stating that he's been intimidated by the governor of Edo State. I'm going to be showing you that video, but before I do that, I'd like you to see Godwin Obaseki's response when he was asked why he locked Philip Shaibu out of the office. I believe that will help you see the perception of Godwin Obaseki about Philip Shaibu. Don't go anywhere, I'll be coming back to wrap up the video. My name is Moses and this is Tintan TV. Elevating a deputy governor and making him visible, is it a crime? It's because you want to build institutions, but to mistake that and misuse it, I think is unfortunate. Because you now create an impression. You say, well, that's why they don't allow deputy governors responsibility. You've seen it for yourself that from the perception of the current governor, Godwin Obasek, he's not going to be throwing his weight behind Philip Shaibu, who is the deputy governor of Edo State. But nevertheless, Philip Shaibu has remained resolute to say that despite the fact that you're not giving me all the support, despite the fact that you're not going to be giving me my blessings because you think that I won't be loyal to you, I'm going to be clinching the ticket of the PDP. Now let's jump right into hearing from the words of Philip Shaibu, who has made known to the public that the governor of Edo State is intimidating him. Don't go anywhere, I'll be coming back to wrap up the video. How can I, a deputy, sitting deputy governor, a member of the ruling party in the state, we want to have his declaration and his senior, uh, senior appointee in government. We call the uh, owner of the filling station of the, of the hotel and tell them if they allow me to do, do use that particular facility, they will revoke and demolish. And for me, it doesn't add up to what our governor believe in and what all of us believe in because we are asking private sector to come to a do state they shouldn't hear this kind of sound that uh, if you have differences their, their, their investment can be can be uh, destroyed i'm emboldened by the commitment of me to serve and and the encouragement i get from our people like i told you i'm a believer i'm a and, and I, I don't do things because I will directly benefit. I do things because I look at everybody that in that, in that chain. I'm a team player. And when I see that what the generality of our people are saying is correct, even when I have to uh, sacrifice some things to make it work, I have to do that. The government know me with that. I can tell you, uh, I've been praying that this whole relationship things come back to normal because the governor is one person that is very proud of me in terms of what I have done for this government and in terms of my style of doing things. The governor knows that I'm not a corrupt person. In this government, if you ask the governor, he knows all of us. He knows that Philip Shaibu, you give him an assignment, he will go extra mile to make it work. And he knows that he will not just do it, he will, not, he will be transparent. If there are some resources that are left, he will return them. That is how meticulous I am. And there's no assignment I've been given that I've not done it creditably well. And I have commendation from the governor on all that I've done. If a governor, my own governor, my senior brother and boss, can do a commendation letter to me, and asking, the first line is that he wants to put it on record. So that means he, he, he wants that document to go on record. And he ended up to say, I am the type of deputy governor any governor will wish to have. So what has changed? What has changed simply is that my, I'm, I want to be the governor of Edo State. Possibly, maybe he wants somebody else. A situation like that, what you do is not intimidation. It's no harassment. You call a family together, 
you will call all of us together and give us uh, reasons why you feel certain things will do. Tell us what you want and they will go. You don't intimidate. You don't harass. If I am governor tomorrow and my deputy want to contest, he has the right to contest. If I have to support somebody else, I also have the right to support somebody else. And But not no conversation and the next thing is intimidation harassment no i don't think it's the right thing to do not even somebody that sacrificed all uh, uh, if i have to narrate all the sacrifices i've made in this government will not leave this uh, it will not take it will take Set. the entire uh, uh, day so but the truth is that i am contesting the election and by the grace of god i can assure you that uh, after uh, February 20th, you hear that uh, my name is on the ballot. And uh, uh, when you say inordinate ambition, they tried to push me out of PDP. They did everything. They even announced that uh, I'll be declaring a particular day. And the day they, asked, they announced that I'll be declaring, I was actually with my family enjoying my vacation. And I saw it in the, in the, in the media. I know and the people that wrote it are from government house i know their names and i showed somebody that was close to me i said look at these people again they have even given me a date that i'll be declaring to apc whereas i'm not even having any conversation with anybody but the again was to put pressure on me and get me angry and i will leave the party for them but unfortunately i am not somebody that you use pressure to take out of things you use you, you discuss with me to get me to succumb to things and i came from a tendency where ideas cross multiply we argue we discuss we engage product of those engagement i'm somebody that can easily give in after engagement but i'm not somebody that can give in to intimidation no if i have to give in to, to intimidation we won't have democracy today like i told you earlier so Relationship with Comrade and Sali Oshomole is cordial. When I mean cordial, he's still my father. Politically, we are in different part, political party, And I'm happy that the governor uh, finally has started inviting the gov uh, our former governor and my father to function. That is what I've been praying for. And now that he has started, I think the next step is for me to now reach him and also first apologize to him for some use of words during the uh, uh, election. But in terms of principle behind supporting Obaseki, even if I still have the chance today, I will still support Obaseki because on principle, that was the right thing to do. God told me that was the right thing to do. But in terms of some language that we, I use, I will find time to go and apologize to Comrade Adams Ali Shomoli. What I was waiting for, that is, that is I can be loyal to a, to a fault. What I was waiting for was for the governor to make that move. Because I will not make that move if my governor has not made the move. Now that he has made the move to be inviting Comrade Adams so Shumoli, now I'm emboldened to go and see him. Because one of the crises that I have was when I went to the Senate to congratulate Comrade Adams so Ali Shumoli, and I was seen in a viral video. That was where my headache started. Because it is the governor's style or uh, the style here is that a friend of the governor you must be friend to him an enemy to the governor you must be an enemy to him so i understand those principles and that's why i am being careful now that governor has made that uh, move to invite Oshomole to programs on the national television all those words some of those words that I use, that when I see them today, I, oh, I should have used these words. I apologize to Comrade Adnan Salih Shomoli. But in terms of the principle of supporting Obaseki, it was the right thing to do. You've seen it for yourself now. I keep saying to people that at this point when Nigeria is, we cannot be talking about zoning. We rather should be talking about competence. Who has the capacity and the character to rescue this nation from this suffocating state it is? Even though a lot of people have been saying that Philip Shaibu has the political ability to win the Edo State governorship election, for me, I've not heard anything special from what he said. Giving promises of the average Nigerian politician should not be the way to go. I just hope that Edo State people will do well to make the right choices because obviously every choice they make right now would affect them in the next four.
for here. Please do also hit the comment section. Let's get to know what you're thinking is as we shall continue to be here to send me. Thank you so much to all our viewers and returning subscribers who do not take it lightly. My name again is Moses and this is Think Tank TV. See you on the next video. Bye for now.